Glory be to Jesus Christ. Welcome to this tutorial video for the Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Saskatoon's Covenant of Care Safeguarding Training. To begin, you will first of all need access to a computer or tablet in order to complete these online training modules for certification with the Eparchy's Safeguarding Training. For the purposes of this tutorial video, I will be using the laptop or desktop method, as well as the web browser Mozilla Firefox. Google Chrome is also a recommended browser in order to have the best experience in completing the training. Once you're on your computer and in your preferred browser, you can go to the Epper Keys website. In order to get to the courses page, the, uh, where you can choose the different uh, training modules to complete. First of all, you'll go to Policies and Procedures, which is in the top menu. And then you'll go from Policies and Procedures to Safeguarding to Training. And that will lead you to the page that you currently see. Additionally, you can go straight here by typing in the following URL in the search bar at the top of your browser, which is www.skepperkey.org backslash WordPress backslash courses. Now, before you select which level of training that you need um, for your volunteer position, it's important to have a conversation with your supervisor or pastor in order to know what level of certification is required. In order to uh, attain the higher levels of certification, it's also important to note that you have to complete each module in sequence. So if, for instance, if you are in a position that requires safeguarding training part two, electronic communication and technology, you first have to complete safeguarding training part 1A and safeguarding training part 1B in that order, in order to be able to get certified for safeguarding training part two. As a point of interest, um, most individuals will not need to progress to parts three and parts four, which are reserved for clergy, eparchial or parochial staff, and parochial coordinators of care. If you have any questions, you can also contact the eparchial coordinator of care if you have questions about what level of training you require. All right, so now we will move on to registering, completing the training, and downloading our certification. So for the purposes of this video, we will be um, registering in Safeguarding Training Part 1A as a new student. In order to get to the course page, you can either click on the a banner image, the title of the course, or the View More button. That'll take us to the course page. So there are some interesting things to note about the course page. First of all, we've got the, the title of the course. You can also see, can also see the name of your instructor, the category of the, of the training and uh, the reviews. If you scroll down, You'll be able to see some tabs with further information under the, the main banner. So first is the overview tab. So this gives you a nice little overview of the course, as well as it tells you approximately how long the training will take. So as we can see here, part 1A has a training video of, of approximately one hour in addition to being having to take the quiz. So um, one nice feature of the online training is that you can uh, view the training video for as long as you need. You can watch it multiple times. You don't have to immediately complete the quiz. Um, it's sort of up to your um, schedule and you'll be able to uh, navigate that in a minute once we are fully registered. So um, uh, the quiz at this stage, I will say that uh, in order to do the full training and quiz, uh, it's going to take a little bit more than an hour but there is no time limit 
for completing the quiz. Uh, you can complete that at your own pace. So uh, if you're planning on doing the training in one go, um, probably have about a little more than an hour uh, blocked off in order to complete the full, the full requirements for certification. All right, moving on to the curriculum tab. So that shows you the different parts that are required in order to be certified for part 1A. So we've got the training module and then we've got the quiz. Under the instructor tab, you'll be able to see who the instructor is or the usually the eparchial coordinator of care. Under the reviews tab, you'll be able to see um, reviews left, uh, both stars and also comments uh, from those uh, other folks who have taken the course. Okay, so now that we've uh, familiarized ourselves with the course page, we can move on to registering. In order to register, we will go over to the Start Now button, which is underneath the, um, the featured image. So we'll hit Start Now, and that'll take us to the course checkout page. So uh, one thing to note, once we've uh, gotten to the course checkout page, is these, uh, these red banners at the top. You can just disregard those. Um, all training is uh, free of charge. So um, the, the checkout banners there and the, and the you order section over here are not really all that necessary. What we are going to go for once we get to this checkout page is we're gonna scroll down to the sign up button which is underneath the user sign in, uh, username and, and password section over here. Since we are registering as a new student, this is where we're going to navigate to. So we'll hit sign up. Okay, so at this stage, we can enter in our pass, or sorry, our email address. Okay, now an important thing to note under username is you have to put your first name and your last name. But because it's important to note that this name is what is going to be displayed on your certification. So um, it's important to have the exact same name on your certification that was on your, um, your criminal records and vulnerable sector check. Um, so it's important not to use something like a shortened version or nickname or um, if you have an online handle, you know, that's perhaps connected to your email or other logins, uh, please do not use that. Um, you must use your uh, full legal first and last name. Okay, once you've done that, you can enter in your password. Please also indicate in the area marked notes to administrator, your volunteer position, ministry, supervisor, this could be your parish priest, and the parish for whom you are completing this covenant of care safeguarding training. Okay, and then we'll scroll down to place order. That's how you complete your registration. So we'll click that now. Okay, so now this uh, the first checkout page has uh, led us here again to an, another page called checkout. Again, you can disregard the red banner at the top, but you can see that your order has been received, which means that you have registered for the course. Okay, now that we've registered, we are going to navigate back to the course page. And you can do that from this page by simply clicking on the safeguarding training which is next to the item category on this little list here. So we'll hit safeguarding training part 1A and I'll take us back to the course page. All right. So now you can see on our right hand side that this button here has now changed and it says continue. As well, you can see that we have a progress bar which shows how many lessons we've completed, the quizzes and the overall progress in the course. So those are some things that have changed since we've registered. So now that we're logged in after registering, we will continue to the course materials. Okay. 
So this is what the course materials look like for the safeguarding training course that you've just registered for. At the top, you've got again the name of your of your training module that you're doing, uh, as well as again a progress bar at the top. Uh, this here uh, X in the sort of the grayed out square uh, will just take us back to the main course page. Uh, one other thing to note on the uh, course module uh, page here is that we have a um, sidebar which we can expand and hide by clicking on this um, orange triangle here. And uh, under here, you can search for course content. Um, won't That won't necessarily be uh, something that you'll uh, have to do with our training modules, but just to know that it's there, as well as the name of the course and where you are in the course. So you can navigate between what you see here, which is the, the actual safeguarding video and to the quiz. So you'll be able to navigate there. However, you won't be able to start the quiz at this stage yet because you've, uh, you're not shown as completed. So we've got a grayed out check mark here. Uh, once, the, once this uh, check mark is green, that shows that you'll be able to navigate to the quiz section. Okay, so how do you how does that happen? So um, obviously we need to watch our training video here, which is uh, an embedded YouTube video. Okay, so as you can see, that's how the training starts. Okay, it's approximately an hour. And once you've completely watched the video and you can watch it as many times as you need, once you feel like you've gotten a good understanding of the material, you can click on the complete button. So this is important because this is required for you to be able to take the quiz. So we're going to click complete, which will prompt us to say, do you want to complete the, the lesson? And if you feel like uh, you've gotten a good uh, grasp of the material and you're comfortable with taking the quiz, you'll say yes. Okay. Once you do that, that'll automatically take you to the, the quiz page. And it says, as you can see at the top, says, congrats, you have completed the lesson. So at this stage, um, if you feel like you need to, to go back in order to um, in order to rewatch the video, there's a couple ways we can go back to the video um, before taking the quiz. So one is by um, enlarging the side panel here and you can click on the safeguarding training, which will take you back to the video page. As well, you can also click down here on the previous arrow. That will take you as well back to the video page in case you want to have a quick uh, refresh of that before starting the quiz. Okay, so another thing to note, now that we've, we've fully done the, we fully feel we've, uh, we've uh, gone through the video, we understand what's, what's going to be required of us. The next step is going to be downloading the policy. Okay, so if you haven't already downloaded a copy of the Epper Keys uh, safeguarding policy, you're able to do so by clicking on this hyperlink here. It's important to uh, familiarize yourself with the policy so that you know the expectations and duties of your position and what's required uh, by the Epper key. Okay, once you've done that, uh, you can see a couple more um, things for in your information about the quiz. So the quiz is going to be seven questions long. Um, out of these seven questions, one question will be a freebie. The um, in in the question, it'll give you the answer, just to help you um, have a better have a better grasp of how to how to complete the quiz. It is a multiple choice quiz. Um, uh, on this site here, we've got duration. Now that just shows um, how long it it'll take it it will take you to complete the quiz. There is no time limit, so you can take as long as you need in order to complete the quiz. Over here, we've got the passing grade. So you will note that the passing grade is 100%. So that means you have to get all six questions right because one question will be given to you as a freebie. So all important information to know. Um, I will say at this stage as well, if you do not um, get a 100% passing grade, uh, please contact the Eparchial Coordinator of Care uh, to discuss um, which question you got wrong in order to help facilitate uh, your learning um, in order to get your passing grade. Okay, so now that we're all ready to go, we'll start the quiz. 
All right, so this is what the quiz section looks like. Um, again, as I've noted before, you don't have to worry about the timer. That's just showing you how long it's, it's uh, taking to complete the quiz. So each of the questions is going to be multiple choice. You will have um, a variety of uh, answers to choose from. So you choose which one is uh, best suited to answer the question. So for instance, for question one here, we have persons who must complete covenant of care training and requirements mentioned above are A, at an elevated risk of becoming abusers, B, in positions of trust, ministering to minors or vulnerable adults, having access to confidential information, or entrusted with the control of keys, money, or church property, or C, free from all risk and responsibility. So uh, you'll choose which one uh, you feel uh, best answers that. And once you've done so, you can navigate to the next question. So to do that, there are a couple of options. So you can either uh, hit the next number um, on the bottom here, or you can click the next button. So we'll hit the next button. So, and that will take you all through the, the quiz. So I'm gonna pause the video here and see you at the other end so that we can um, show you how to complete the quiz and download your certificate. All right, we've come to the end of the quiz here. And once you feel like you've answered all the questions to the best of your ability, you're still able at this stage to go back. You can navigate through the bottom tabs here, either previous or clicking by clicking on one of the numbers if you want to go back and change one of your answers. But now that you feel like you've answered all the questions to the best of your ability, you can either click on the finish quiz button up at the top here next to the timer, or you can click on the finish quiz at the bottom of the page. So we'll click finish quiz. You'll get an, a prompt that says, are you sure you want to submit? And you'll say, okay. And that'll take us to the end. And as you can see, 100%. You pass the quiz, uh, it shows you how long it took you to complete it and how many questions you got right or wrong. So let's say at this stage that you didn't get 100%. So we've got a couple options here. So like I mentioned, uh, please contact the Eparchial Coordinator of Care first to have a conversation with them about um, what, what went wrong during your quiz. Um, in order to find out what question you got wrong, you're going to come back down here and click on the review button. And we'll just show you what that looks like here. So you click on review and that'll take you back to the quiz. And so this will either show you a green check mark or a red check mark. Um, and also note down here whether or not you got the question correct or or incorrect. So you're able to go through and navigate through the, the quiz, just like when you were taking it to the question that you got wrong in order to be able to uh, 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 discuss with the eparchial coordinator of care uh, what uh, maybe went wrong with that question. Okay, so once you've reviewed the quiz to find which uh, answer you got wrong, if you did not get 100, you can head back, head back to results, and that'll take you back to this page. So once you've had that conversation with the eparchial coordinator of care, um, at that time, you're, you'll, you'll be able to come back to this uh, quiz page and go retake. And you can retake the quiz as many times as you need in order to uh, to get that passing grade. All right, so now that you've uh, gotten the passing grade, everything's checked out there, we are going to move over to uh, the page where we can download our certification. So you're going to scroll back up to the top of the page and hit finish course. And the prompt is going to say, do you want to finish? And you'll say yes. Okay. And there you go your certification is going to pop up. Just to note again, um, as you can see, the username that we entered in at the beginning of registration is what uh, comes up here on the certificate. And it shows Robert Budka in recognition of completing the re uh, prerequisites of safeguarding training part 1A on such and such a date. So this is going to be your certification to prove that you have completed uh, your covenant of care safeguarding training. An important thing to note as well is that at the bottom of your certificate, uh, you'll see that your certification is valid for a period of four years. Uh, this number is uh, subject to change based on a parkio policy and provincial legislation. So um, uh, just be, be aware that this might change from the first time that you take it. As, so you can always have a dialogue with your pastor, supervisor, 
or the Eparchial Coordinator of Care about um, keeping up to date on your training. Okay, so now in order to download the certificate, you've got a couple of options. So one is we scroll down to the bottom of the page here and we click on this um, download button. You can do that. All right. The other option is uh, right click with your mouse or uh, on a tablet, you can you can try pressing and holding until you get the um, more options menu uh, pop up. So here on the computer, I am right clicking and you can go save image as and download it. It's important to note that you will have to forward your certification to your parish office uh, priest or supervisor once you have completed it in order for it to be on the parish or eparchial records and um, you can download a copy or keep a copy rather for yourself. So now that uh, we've downloaded our certificate, we can exit out. So we can go up here, click on the X and that'll take us back to the course page. All right, so you can see that um, in the corner underneath the um, banner image, you can see that now it says that you have passed. So there you go. Um, the progress bar that we saw when we uh, registered is fully completed and 100%. In order to leave a review for the course once you've uh, completed it, we'll scroll down to the reviews tab. And now you can see that since we've completed the course and gotten certified, we can write a review. So we'll click on the write a review button. You can title your review, whatever you want. Great course. We can mean it and give it a star rating. For the purposes of this video, I'm not going to add this review uh, to the course, but just so you're able to understand how the process works. If at any time you need to re-download the certification that you've just taken, you can um, log in and navigate back to the course page for whichever um, training level or module that you need to re-download your cert cert certificate for. And you can click here on this certificate button and that'll just download the image again. So in case you ever um, lose track of your certification or if um, the parish is requesting that you resubmit it, you can always come back to this, um, uh, this course page after you've successfully completed the, the training and quiz and re-download it at any time. Now, um, it's important to note too, at this stage, that this exact same procedure is um, uh, followed in completing all of the uh, training modules. So if we um, go back um, at the top of your um, page here, you can see the all courses page, or we can go to all of the courses that are labeled under covenant of care. Uh, currently, that's um, all courses that are available. So we can either click on either one of these or you could even click on the, the training drop down from the top menu as well. We can go back to here and we can scroll down. And now we are eligible to sign up for safeguarding training 1B. So if I go here, you'll see the exact same idea of the course page. Okay, so if we're still logged in, we can just go to the start now. And that will take us, if we've completed the prerequisites of the previous course, that will take us directly into the course uh, materials. So and there you go, and it's we're in, and we're able to progress through our eparchial covenant of care training. So thank you so much for tuning into this uh, tutorial video. If you have any technical questions about registering for your first training um, or any additional training that you require for your position, or if you have any difficulties with the registration process or downloading your certification, you can contact the Eparchial uh, Communications Office and we will do our best to answer any um, technical questions that you have. Um, so you can contact us at communications at skepperkey.org or by calling the Chancery Office at 306-653-0138 extension 226. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.